Hey everyone, it's a uh, yeah, day after a race, so good weekend at Darwin for, for our team. A um, little bit average for myself, I was probably a little bit off the pace for whatever reasons, but um, yeah, good good result for the team. You know, race one, one, two, Chaz got a win, um, and then for obviously Dave to win on Sunday was really cool. He qualified pole and he was quick, he, um, yeah, whatever he was doing was working and um, yeah, he deserves the uh, deserves the win. So um, yeah, good, really good for the team. Good for my points. Um, uh, yeah, gain points, but um, yeah, really got to find some speed. You know, it's uh, just struggling to work out exactly what I want from the car. It sounds silly to probably say that when a team car wins, but um, I'm sort of in between setups at the moment. So I'm just trying to work out what works. And uh, Friday was very good. Got the car very good, and then um, Saturday when it got hot, my car faded a little bit, and then we tried to chase it, and um, and yeah, we ended up struggling a little, but um, still a good result, and uh, good to be home. It's freezing cold in Melbourne, and it was thirty two degrees every day up there, so it was um, yeah really good, but yeah, it's nice to be home to the family, and uh, just go back into the workshop and start working as well, and trying to get this. Um, Make sure I've got the speed because speed's going to win the championship, not having competitors have issues. So, anyway, good weekend, and um, I'll answer some questions. Um, so, the first one is Paul Smith just said he dropped in to say good day and congrats to all the team and catch up soon. Um, yeah, thanks. The, the team really deserve it. They, um, you know, they, they they've done an awesome job. So, um, it's really good that we've got all four cars. You know, even on Sunday. In qualifying, we had four cars in the top ten. Um, that was yeah, that's really cool. Even Scott Pye should get credit as well. You know, he's not part of our team, but um, he uh, runs our setups and stuff. So um, yeah, he did a really good job too. So five cars all quick is uh, is a really good, really good thing, and a really big credit to the team. So they're um, pretty pumped. We're the, uh, leading the teams championship as well. So um, yeah. Life's pretty good at pro drive racing, and we cop criticism and all that sort of stuff. But um, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to, to get a result like that on the weekend. Not not for me, but for the team. Uh, ben Adams, bit of a personal question related to racing. Some events have Renee and the kids there, and others you don't. How do you manage and balance your work life with that of being a loving husband and responsible dad? Um, it's pretty tough. Like the. Uh, the, I try and take them everywhere, but Perth and Darwin was a bit far for um, for the kids. You know, Oliver's good, but Austin at two is a bit of a nightmare. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's you try and take them everywhere because I love it. I think it's good to have have the family there and stuff. There, go home after a bad day or a good day or whatever, and um, yeah, pretty much just go and chill out and get your mind off it. So. Um, yeah, it's really good and Oliver follows me around as well, which is pretty cool that he looks up to his dad and um, yeah, one day, you know, hopefully he can follow in the footsteps. So it's good good having them there and um, but it is a tough one because you, you don't just want your wife to take your kids there and then um, be all on her as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a balance but I think we get it pretty right and um, but yeah, I do love having them there, so we try to take them to as many as we can. Belinda Hill, why do you always sulk when you don't win? I don't really know about that, but I'm um, obviously a Holden supporter and I'm guessing a Jamie Wink Cup follower, so um, I just brush you, brush your question, I think. But uh, yeah, I'm not, not satisfied when I don't win, I'll tell you that much, because um, I race to win and um, that's purely the... The only reason I, I raced, but um, you know, on the weekend I definitely wasn't sulking. I got down to the podium and cheer my teammates on to to honour their results. And um, you know, I finished fifth. It wasn't a great result when the two cars are first and second, but um, you're not going to win every race, so I don't think I sulked. But um, anyway, you got your own opinion. Shane said, "Do you think Percat should be penalised for his comments on Saturday?" Um, I haven't seen it, and yeah, I don't, I don't really know. But um, problem with drivers is they all get a microphone put in their face before they actually know what happened, and 
I think the comments he made were about Wing Cup, which, um, yeah, like Wing, Wing Cup doesn't have to prove anything to anyone. So he um, he's won a lot more races than uh, the guy abusing him has. So, um, yeah, it just makes you look silly. It doesn't penalise you. You just make yourself look stupid. So, um, you know, we see other people making comments and you can only look bad, you know, but they, um, a lot of drivers make comments before they see footage and, Sometimes you think it's one person and, uh, you know, I think the Wing Cup thing was actually Will Davison who crashed into him. So uh, he was probably pointing his finger at the wrong bloke and, you know, you just make yourself look silly. But heat at the moment, drivers say what they say and, um, yeah, the, the, the sport wants you to promote that sort of stuff. But at the same time, you've got to be careful because you've got to respect the competitors, whether you like them or not. Um, you know, sometimes it's better off just to take a back step and, um, watch the replays and, and then go from there. But um, if you do the wrong thing, the, you know, Jason Bugwana puts it on you, so you don't need to say too much. Um, Stefan from England, good or good evening. Nine nights in the morning there, good morning. How are you finding this season's race calendar with big gaps and how's the feeling within the team to keep improving and push for the championship? Um, the gaps are not very good. They're... Um, you know, definitely going to get changed, which is which is nice. But the gaps, um, you know, five weeks is just hopping in the car for the first time again. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's, it almost feels foreign, which isn't what you want. You want consistency and, um, yeah, just to get back in the car and uh, after five weeks is too long. So we, we've got to improve it and they're, they're definitely doing that. So, um, yeah. Now they need to have them every two or three weeks. That's sort of the, the ideal number. So hopefully they get it right. I'd rather a season over nine months, but our season goes over 11. So it's way too long and then way too spread out. So either we put more races in and keep it the same um, length or uh, shorten the length and keep the same rounds. But there's so many other things that come into it. I'm sure there's, um, you know, governments that, uh, that – determine what dates are going where and, you know, when there's government funding and everything, they dictate it. So I'm sure it's easy for us to say it, but I'm sure there's reasons behind it. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, hopefully it changes, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, Andrew Kirk says, do most drivers, or do most if the drivers get along with one another? Um, there's some, there's some that do. There's, um, uh, it's a bit weird really there's a couple of little groups there's the young guys that sort of hang out together and influence each other and um if one doesn't like you they all don't which is kind of kind of strange but to be honest you don't really care it's one of those things you get out and race and um you go home and you, you go from there but there, there are good guys you know there are um, uh, a lot of guys I, I still i catch up for for lunch and stuff but um obviously you know Chaz and uh and dave and Andre and Cam Waters and stuff, your teammates, they're the ones you see the most. So we have a really good relationship um, together. Um, but outside of that, you know, Bridey, um, Fabian, um, you know, we go on bike rides and stuff every now and then. But, um, yeah, there, there are little, like, brat pack type things and I'm not part of them. So um, it's, it's a bit, bit strange. Some groups, some don't, whatever. Um, but, yeah, everyone gets along, which... Um, probably answers your question, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of little groups going on at the moment. Uh, how do you mentally prepare for a race weekend? Is there anything you do to help with concentration, keeping your mind on the job? I race online and I'm racing and sometimes find it hard to keep concentration levels. Um, yeah, it's tough. Like the, the concentration is hard, but um, to prepare, all you do is... is uh, go to the workshop and pretty well go through your, um, you know, your briefings and know that your preparation at the workshop is up to scratch. And if it's up to scratch, then you obviously feel good at a race weekend. But um, if you, uh, I guess if you do the right prep and you, and you know that, uh, you know, our racing is probably a little bit different, but if you have procedures, you know, you, um, you know, driving isn't that, that difficult. You can make it difficult, but, if you know that you have to break at a certain point um, and you know that you're turning points and you know what gears and your preparation and stuff like that, then um, then you're pretty well just about repeating that. So um, to get that little bit at the end is hard, but um, to keep your concentration levels, you know that 
if you're going to hit certain points, whether it's at the start, break markers, um, throttle pick up, whatever it is, if you know that before you go in, then uh, you take the guesswork out of it. So uh, preparation's key, uh, and then that gives you confidence. So um, yeah, just just try and be prepared. That's probably the best bit of advice. Um, Jody, what happened in race two? It looked like you had no pace. I didn't on, on race two, and really the start of race three, my pace on the brand new soft tire was was really bad. So um, yeah, I tried to survive to be honest. So um, Saturday, I just sat behind that group. I when I tried to break heavy, I kept losing the rear. So. Um, if I dive someone for a pass, it was 99% chance I probably would have crashed into him because I um, had no rear stability and I didn't want 25 point penalty. So I uh, had to conserve. And, uh, and then on Sunday, the car was quite average as well, to be honest. But um, then we reused soft tyre and the car was really good. So it's a bit strange, but um, yeah, it, it you know, tried hard, but I just didn't have the car to do it. Um, and then the final stint were actually as quick as the leaders, if not slightly quicker, but we were uh, eight seconds behind and yeah, you know, a tenth a lap is never going to catch that. So, um, yeah, a bit bizarre, but the older the tie I got, the more competitive I got, which, uh, yeah, which is really strange. But anyway, we'll look into that. But, um, yeah, to answer the question, I had no pace and, um, yeah, just trying to survive. So, um, that's all I had. Uh, great weekend of racing. Where do the cars go from Northern Territory? Over to Queensland or back? Um, no, the cars go back to the workshop. So um, the truck driver, they double up. So uh, they leave Sunday night from Darwin and get whatever, four hours down the road, stop, wake up next morning, drive again and uh, come back home. So cars will always come back to base and... Uh, um, yeah, it's it's always going to be coming back to to PRA, so um, it gives us about a week turnaround or something for for Townsville. So not uh, not long, but you always get better work at your workshop than you do at a you know at a temporary base. So um, thankfully, I don't think we have any damage. Maybe Andre's car has a little bit, but um, all the other cars pretty much just a few panels and stuff, and they're ready to roll. So uh, shouldn't take too long and. The guys, you know, they, they get a busy week and then they have a bit of time off before they go to maybe next Townsville. Um, so, yeah, it always goes back to workshop. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Mustang coming in opposed to a Falcon? What would you prefer? Um, I like the Falcon at the moment. It's pretty, uh, it's going pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. We need to work out what brand we're running, I guess, first. That's the... That's the important thing. So um, it's, yeah, it, it's sort of going to depend on that. If it's Ford, um, then there's Mondeo, there's or Falcon's going to stop. Um, but there's, you know, Mondeo, there's Mustang. Um, there's quite a few different models. So we'll see, uh, yeah, we'll see what brand we're with first. But um, uh, yeah, we'll um, go from there. But, you know, what would I like to run? Um, you know, the, the aero kit on the Falcon's good at the moment. Um, you know, I'm sure the Mustang would be very similar. So whatever it is, it is. But, um, yeah, happy to – I've got a lot of history with the Falcon, so I'm happy to run it out and hopefully get to its end of its its lifespan and hopefully we can give it a championship. And, um, you know, if I can win a championship in it, it would then be nice to go to a, a new model. And the Mustang's, you know, the perfect fit. It's got history. It's, it's a cool car and, you know, I want to buy one. So um, – yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, do you think the fans or the sports fans that can't make it to the track will suffer from a lack of decent free-to-air coverage of the races? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough one, but, um, you know, we hope we still keep our supporters because it, it is an issue at the moment. So uh, a lot of people talking about it and stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, Channel 10... They've got the races from you know, Townsville, they get it back. Um, Townsville, Sandown, Bathurst, Gold Coast and Sydney. So there's five coming up. So the next patch will sort of help uh, help our championship. But, um, yeah, they, they could definitely tune up the highlights package. It's, um, yeah, it's been a little bit, 
a couple of little bit of criticism and stuff. So hopefully they yeah, tune that up a bit and it gets better. But, um, um, you know, the Foxtel coverage has been amazing, but obviously everyone doesn't have Foxtel. So um, yeah, hopefully the whole life's package to people who don't want Foxtel improves and uh, then the um, next five rounds, you know, those big ones are all covered uh, race, you know, start to finish, which is going to be good because um, they're the big ones and people you know, deserve to watch it. So uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, when are we going to see your Chaz drink champagne from your boot? Um, yeah, I don't think I drink from my boot. I know Dave asked Chaz to drink from his boot to do it as a team thing and Chaz said no way. So um, yeah, if you, if you smelt the boot after a race, you trust me, you wouldn't do it. But Dave is a strange character, so... Uh, yeah, he, he's definitely uh, um, he's definitely on his own there. He can get him his own boot, but they smell, they're sweaty, they're disgusting. So, um, yeah, sometimes beer doesn't taste that good and out of a boot. It's definitely uh, definitely not going to happen for me anyway, but Dave's a cool dude, so he'll always do something different. Um, ben, how come you were worried about the lack of speed? I thought you did quite well in Darwin. Um yeah, our team did well, but, um, you know, I expect to be, you know, if Dave can qualify pole by, uh, and his car was three times quicker than mine on Sunday. So, um, um, you know, if he's doing them times, I should be doing them times too. So for me, I think I lacked a bit of speed, but um, the team didn't by no means. They, they were fast. So, um, yeah, car five just needed to be quicker. It happens, you know, you go to rounds and you try to get the ultimate set up and it doesn't work. But, um you know, I was happy with the way that I salvaged the, uh, the, the the weekend, I guess, and come away with a points lead um, with, uh, you know, with a weekend where I didn't think I was that quick. So um, we'll get it right. Don't worry. We'll be uh, we'll be there for sure at the next one and we've got a good good lead. So we need to get our speed. If we if we win and get our, we'll get our speed back and can win races, then we're, um, we're definitely on track. Mike, in regards to free to air versus Fox, this has been the best year of coverage for us fans by far. It's a small cost for Foxtel, but the benefit outweighs the cost. HD, no adverts, everything live, practice sessions, exposure. Um, question request, can we get Mark Larkin back? He's amazing with his tech talk. Can you get him back? Um, yeah, Larko's pretty good. He's got to deal with 10, I think. So um, some tear, some guys decided to go with uh, with 10 and some chose to go with Fox, he chose 10. Um, yeah, I agree, he was very good at the at the tech stuff and um, yeah, I, I think he's um, probably the best at that. So, uh, you know, Cromnet does a good job too, but um, it was whoever sort of signed up which guy is where they went. So uh, he chose Channel 10 or they chose him or whatever it was. And if you want to see him, you watch RPM and and the 10 coverage so uh, i'm sure you'll see him over the enduros and stuff and um but yeah he does do a good job will there be any fgx falcon specific merchandise like t-shirts etc uh i'm not sure i'm uh, um yeah i lost the team i'm not sure about that i think uh there's definitely um probably a good chance for it because it's the final falcon so maybe I don't know, if we win Bathurst, there might be a special FGX Falcon shirt or if we win the championship. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Good question. I'll um, ask the team and I'll reply to your question when they give me an answer. Uh, who's your favourite NRL team and player? Uh, I go for South, so like South Sydney, um, like the Rabbitohs. And probably the favourite player would be uh, probably Inglis. He's pretty, uh, pretty good, so... Um, probably, uh, you'd yeah, probably say that, um, but they're not. I think, who, who's, uh, I think Brisbane's leading or North Queensland, so um, hopefully the bunnies can get up. They're uh, a good, good bunch of guys. Uh, Frosty, is your car better in a straight line compared to last year? Um, no, our car is the same in a straight line, which uh, probably sounds a bit strange, but of course, we're getting off the corner so well. Um, we're, uh, um, we're, we look like we've got more speed. So, um, yeah, we, uh, um, 
yeah, we're just getting good runs, to be honest. So better runs off the corner and uh, it makes our straight line speed look better. But same engines, same package, so uh, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be any different. Uh, Robert wrote, uh, why was the grill pulled out of Chaz's car? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't see the didn't see the grill to be honest. But um, you can run blanking. So um, there's blanking that goes in the grill that can make uh, the engine run it hotter or cooler or whatever it is. So there's also brake blanks. So I'm not sure which one of them it was. But we've run a frame, so you can have the ability in a pit stop to just pull out um, pull out the blanking or put in the blanking. So um, I'd assume it was probably that. But uh, um, yeah, that, that would have been what it was. It's a it's a tuning tool that we could use, and um, uh, yeah, probably was that. So um, yeah, pretty quiet one tonight. So that that'll probably uh, that'll probably do it. But um, yeah, thanks for the support, everyone. It's been it's been good. It's really good for the team. Um, you know, our, our team has worked hard, and I think finally we've got a car that uh, looks like it can be the goods and. Um, in a hundred point lead, if, if we can get it right at Townsville, you know, Townsville is going to be a danger one. But um, if we can get it right there, I think we, uh, um, yeah, I think we might might go half a right for this championship. So long way to go, but we'll um, we'll see uh, we'll see how we go. So thanks, guys, and um, yeah, hopefully we can keep this championship alive. So thanks for your support, everyone. Have a good night.